Did the risk match the rewards? Let me know. A judge likened Forrest Salmon's criminality, i.e. mammoth operation, to that of a Premier League. To put it into perspective, Forrest was in the top 30% of big money earners in the UK when it came to dealing back in 2020. The Bradford dad slash dealer who played a major role in the transportation of Class A gear, money laundering and selling fled the UK in 2020 after he noticed his colleagues getting locked up. Now it soon became apparent that Farris had made the list because the National Crime Agency had arrested him as part of Operation Venetic when officers cracked open the encrypted platform EncroChat. Using the platform EncroChat, Farris Salman used the handle Oracle Warrior. There, he was facilitating Culkin H to a network of high up the criminal ladder dealers. Police estimate that Farris had profited to the tune of at least £1.3 million. Now, when the police officers from the NCA searched the Bradford home, they uncovered £89,000 in cash, a presser, vacuum pack machine and a detailed debt list, names, amounts owed and payment deadlines. He also had handwritten notes in Farris's own handwriting of detailing buyers, prices and pickups with dates. Now, police then established Farris Salman had been a major player in the trade since October 2018. Now, when police went through his messages on Anchor Chat, it showed that Farris messaged other non-criminals to deal multiple kilos of coke and H at a time. He had systematically moved kilos at a time and tens of thousands of pounds at a time also. There was also pictures of £140,000 in cash, which had been counted by Farris himself and photoed for evidence. Other messages showed communications between criminals and Farris arranging to pick up hundreds of thousands of pounds from different locations. After the NCA had arrested Farris Salman, he had been released under investigation with strict conditions. However, Farris thought forget this, so he went back home, packed his bag and left the country soon after. However, in October 2023, police received intel that Farris had re-entered the UK and was laying low at his parents' home. The parents' home, was, of course, was then raided and after a three-hour intense search, it revealed that Farris was hiding in the loft next to boxes and sheets. Now, Farris was arrested once again and he did plead guilty to two counts of conspiracy to supply Class A gear and also conspiracy to possess criminal property. When interviewed, Farris explained that he was a money launderer first but then started dealing later on. He also articulated and tried to downplay his role in the trade operation, stating that he was not the leader but was just acting on behalf of others. Farris was jailed for 11 years and 7 months. Does the crime match the sentence? Let me know in the comments. Stay safe. Safe.